You are looking at Wat Nawamin Tara Rajuti, NMR Meditation Center, one of the spiritual sanctuaries in the U.S., where one can come to share and experience the peace and calm that derive from the teachings of Lord Buddha, the Great One who established Buddhism, who discovered the truth. More than 26 centuries ago, in the land at the foot of the Himalayas, Prince Siddhartha of Shakya House was indulged with extreme aesthetic beauty and comfort ever since his birth, such that he was barred from suffering and never laid his eyes on unpleasant things. But all that was to no avail. Amidst the worldly pleasure and happiness, the prince eventually witnessed suffering and grief faced by all living humans and things surrounding him that were subjected to birth and finally extinction. Turning his back to worldly existence, he led a religious life, studying and practicing meditation with the guidance of fame ascetics, including putting himself through different means of severe physical torment, but to no avail. He therefore decided to abandon the practice and resort to the middle path, the way to wisdom that was neither too harsh nor too lax. Finally, on the full moon day of the sixth lunar month, six years after the adoption of a religious life, he attained enlightenment, that is, profoundly understanding suffering, cause of suffering, way to extinguish suffering, and true happiness through nirvana, the immortal law. Lord Buddha spread what he discovered to people in different states without class or caste discrimination. A large number of faithful disciples followed in his footsteps by entering the monkhood. Many of them subsequently became enlightened. Lord Buddha's disciples included rulers, wealthy people, and groups of ascetics who abandoned their previous faiths to take up Buddhism and played a part in rendering support and helping to widely spread Buddhism. Lord Buddha, the fully enlightened one, spent 45 years to promulgate the doctrine and administer the four assemblies of Buddhists, comprising bhikkhus, bhikkhunis, lay followers, and female lay followers. He passed away at the age of 80. More than two centuries after Lord Buddha's great decease, King Ashoka the Great of the House of Maurya, who had firm faith in as well as practiced Buddhism, became the key patron and protector of Buddhism. By his command, Buddhist temples and sanctuaries, along with inscriptions of Lord Buddha's teachings, were established throughout India. Buddhism thus reached the peak of glory under his rule. It was during King Ashoka the Great's reign that the third collation and revision of the scriptures was carried out at Ashokaram Temple in Patna in 309 years before AD. By his command, Buddhism was seriously and extensively spread to kingdoms outside of India through nine missionary routes, covering all directions throughout Asia. In particular was the eighth route, heading towards Sawanapum, or Tawalawadi Kingdom which encompassed Southeast Asian nations, namely Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam at the present time, while the ninth route headed towards Sri Lanka. Initially, Buddhism spread from Sri Lanka to Sivichiya Kingdom, Malay Peninsula, and Java. Subsequently, it spread to states south of Thailand. For these reasons, Buddhism established by the 8th and 9th roots became deep-rooted and have long flourished in all regions of Thailand until now. Every Thai monarch is known to have firm faith in Buddhism, 
while fervently upholding and maintaining it to ensure its progress and stability in the land, and also adopting Lord Buddha's teachings as the ruler's guideline for the happiness of his people. Besides, he promotes the study and practice as well as supports the inter-kingdom spread of Buddhism as a means to globally foster friendly ties. In the special case of the United States of America, Thai citizens began migrating here in 1960. More and more have since followed suit as years go by. All of them wished for a place where they could come to study and practice the Dharma, as well as make merit, because this is part of the Thai cultural and traditional heritage. More importantly, it would be a place where one could take spiritual refuge. Many temples or premises for the study and practice of Dharma emerged as a consequence. The first Thai temple, the Theravadav Buddhist Center Incorporated, was established in 1971. This later became Wat Thai of Los Angeles. The second one, which came into existence in 1974, is Wat Thai, Washington, D.C. Others to follow suit included Usa Putiaram Temple, Vachiratam Mapati Temple, New York, Wat Tamaram, Chicago, and Wat Puttavararam, Denver, to name a few. Taking into account Wat Nawamin Tara Rajutit, NMR Meditation Center. The number of Thai temples in the U.S. presently exceeds 100. Most Venerable Prat Pramwatiratyan Asit K. Mankaro is one of the pioneering Buddhist envoys who played a key role in the solution of the management problem faced by Thai temples in the U.S., as well as in the founding of the Assembly of Thai Bhikkhus in the U.S. in 1976. Serving as the first chairperson of the Assembly, he was the mastermind behind the establishment of many other temples located in various states of the U.S. His latest role is chairman of the project to construct this very place, Wat Nawamin Tara Rajutit NMR Meditation Center, in honor of His Majesty King Pumipon Aduyadeh on the auspicious occasion of the 60th anniversary celebrations of His Majesty's ascension to the throne, June 9, 2006, which made him the longest reigning monarch. The group of Thai Piku that the royal Thai government Thai and American Buddhists, along with upright and charitable foreigners, joined together for the construction of Wat Nawamin Tara Rajutit NMR Meditation Center as a tribute to His Majesty the King. The site of the construction, particularly, reflects the place of his birth. The primary effort to find a site nearest to His Majesty's birth spot was not fulfilled since a rather big and proper piece of land in Cambridge or within Boston was not available. So finally, the site was selected to be in Raynham, 42 miles away from Boston. As such, it is the sole Buddhist temple in honor of His Majesty the King, the first and only in all of the United States. Thus, it is hoped that Wat Nawamin Tara Rajutit NMR Meditation Center will eternally bring sustainable peace and happiness to all mankind. May peace be with you and the entire world.